Are you super excited? Because I have no idea what I'm going to be playing. Obviously, it's like a visual novel. <laughs> what are you getting me into, Titus? Amazing, I know, right? Oh my gosh. Is this like your favorite game or something? I still haven't messed with chat. Oh, you're going to be able to see my mouse. Because I, I only got it to work on window capture. It's not picking up on game capture. Um, so I had to make it like a certain size and everything. Is this with controller or? Oh. Wait, what? I didn't take a screenshot. Okay. No? Okay, got it. Oh, I have the game muted. My bad. Hold on. The game's muted. Yeah, hello everyone. We're going to be doing uh, this today. Oh, you have to pick the guy or the girl. <laughs> We're trying this out today, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Also, I do work a, a double on Friday, so I can't really promise a stream. That would be Persona 5. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Wait, does that make... Should I have played the guy? Does that make me a lesbian in this game? Because <laughs> I'm playing the girl? Or are they gonna- there's no guys in this, right? <laughs> oh no, Titus. I have no idea. How do I do this? Okay, so it's a clicker thingy. Oh. Type your name with the keyboard? Oh well. It's okay. I'll be the girl, because I am a girl. I feel wrong. <laughs> so... I did change the encoder, the video encoder, so I don't end up having issues. Uh, we'll see how this one runs today. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. I hope everyone's doing well. I have no idea what we're getting into. I just know it's like one of those romance, rom-com, visual novels with girls. It's probably like an isekai too, according to the title, so. All the blood, sweat, and tears I've shed these past months have led me to this very point in time. Are we moving? That's how it normally goes. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Is there a way for me to hide my stylus, by the way? Or stylus, bro. I'm having a 3DS moment. My my mouse. Um There should be a way, right? I didn't think about that. I mean you guys probably don't care, right? I'll just play with it like this. I now hold in my possession the holy grail. An object of such great value and importance that it would spell disaster if it fell into the wrong hands. It rests humbly in my palm. It seems to pulsate with life. The inconspicuous brown paper bag covering it does little to mask its holy aura. Is this like your... One of your Hero 5 games then? It's gotta be high if you really wanted me to play it. I don't know why you want me to play it. <laughs> As I guess upon this most sacred of objects, I make a, a, a solemn vow to myself. I promise to guard this object until the day I die. What is this, fate? For now, it's time to view the object's full magnificent splendor. I unwrap the brown paper bag and am nearly blinded by the light emanating from within. Finally, I hold the power. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot. Yeah, Titus, you gotta remind me. <laughs> I now hold the uncovered object in all of its radiant glory. It's a limited edition, special cover version of volume 45 of my all-time favorite magical girl manga series. Yes! Finally! I've waited for three months after this volume was announced for today, the release day. I found myself shedding a single tear of joy as I bask in the beauty of the limited edition cover. With only 100 of these printed, I'm truly one of the most luckiest people alive. I've been following this series since I was just an imputed child. Jeez! I have grown alongside it, chanting the heroine's name in my sleep, night after night. And now the last volume has arrived. Years of worship had guided me here. Today, the series is complete. I'll return home and read this most valued tome and achieve true nirvana. Reading the series over the years has been an uphill battle. My friends often mocked me for following a children's manga series. But they just didn't- th Yeah, oh, because it was like Danganronpa, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> With murder. <laughs> Let's go. I'm playing so many series though, but I will play this one if we like it as well. It'll just be like on the back bind. They couldn't possibly fathom the rich, intricate history of the world, the heroine's ambitions and motives, the ever-present darkness threatening to engulf the world. 
they truly wanted to believe this is a children's manga, that's their right. But I wouldn't be swayed by their narrow-minded opinions. What about that Everlight game, huh? Titus? Oh yeah, more like Doki Doki, yeah. Just with the aspect of murder. I feel myself trembling in anticipation as my fingers reach toward to open the cover. No, I must be patient. I need to return home first before I dive into this adventure. I just can't keep my eyes off the beautiful cover. The walk home will truly be a test of my inner strength and willpower. I should power walk towards my house. The quicker I get home, the quicker I can begin reading. Excellent idea. The journey spreads along at a rapid pace. I don't even have to, uh, <laughs> I don't even have to take my eyes off the manga. I just know this route well. Just a few more blocks to go. Manga, manga, whatever they say. Initializing world. Thanks, Titus. I hope you're doing very well today. I hope you're having a good evening. I know you've been super excited for this. The art was really cute, by the way. Thank you. I love it. I feel like I've wasted most of spring, lazing away with nothing to do. I can't even remember the majority of it. The days just pass like a blur. Every day the same as the last. Let me know if I should save, by the way, because there's a lot of slave save slots here. At the very least, Hikari came to visit me some days. At least, I think she did. I don't remember if she stayed long, or if we talked much. Still, it was a nice thing for her to do. This way could- <laughs> Excuse me, I just ate Subway, so I'm- All the food's like- <laughs> This week has been unusually hot for the season. I think the heat has been scrambling my brains like eggs on a fry pan. I've been finding it so hard to focus lately, to concentrate on anything at all. And now I should perk up a little, try and get some things done before the season ends. Oh, before choices? Okay. But then again, it's just so easy to lay here on the grass without a care in the world. I wonder how much longer I can go on like this. Oh, let me... Um, this might do something. Hold on. I mean, I was window capturing, so it'll still do that. Okay. I read it cover to cover, and when I finished, reality began to sink in. The story was over. The story I had been following for nearly my entire life was just finished. Since that day, I've felt so very, very lost. My appetite disappeared, I stopped hanging out with friends, I dropped all of my homies. Hobbies, so she became a neat. <laughs> Indoors. Introvert. Over here. Days went by in a haze, and looking back, I can't remember a single thing with any kind of clarity. It's sad, but that's the truth of it. I can try and blame the recent heat as much as I want, but really, I've been feeling like this for a few seasons now. I need to pick myself back up. If I don't get a grip, I'm gonna throw away my entire future. I need to get my head back in the game. I need to pull it together for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the first day at my new school. It's kind of hard to believe. Even though I graduated high school, someone decided for me that my studies should continue. <laughs> I assumed that someone was Hikari. She's always meddling in my business. I suppose it's her way of looking after me. Before I knew it, I was enrolled in a new academy without so much as my nod of approval. Classes start tomorrow, tomorrow, whether I'm ready or not. As for the academy itself, I can't say I know much about it. <laughs> there was a brochure in my letterbox at some point, but that promptly fell into the recycling can. I remember it had a lot of smiling faces on it. Probably just typical propaganda. I don't even know what kind of classes I'll be attending. It could be anything. Considering Hikari's electric, electric taste, Alex, what the heck, excelic, something like that, tastes. She probably signed me up for a cooking class or horseback riding or advanced basket weaving. Who knows? Eclectic, eclectic. Yes, that's what I thought it was, but I, <laughs> I mispronounced it. <laughs> that threw me off. I'm beginning to doze off in the warm afternoon sun. Just before my awareness slips away completely, a shadow falls across my face. Hmm. Someone is standing over me. I squint trying to make out their features. It's time to wake up now, Lumi. Oh dear. My anime clone I had a girlfriend. Oh, how cute. Oh dear. What is this? Frickin... 
what's that one anime? You know, it's really dark. Um, it's on my head. Hold on, it's on my mind. Like, uh, where the girl falls and she like stabs herself in the stairs. Yeah, that one. Not corpse party. Was that corpse party? It might have been. I thought it was another one. What are you lying around here for? It's too hot. You're going to cook. Let her cook. <laughs> Oh, it's you, Hikari. Jeez, is that what a, that what passes for a greeting these days? Sorry, I was just lost in thought. Huh. Well, it's my fault for expecting you to treat me with a little respect. I said I'm sorry. Fine, fine. The intrusive girl is none other than Hikari, one of my oldest friends. Yeah, corpse party. <laughs> She's kind of cute in her own way, I guess. I've known her for a long time, though. That I feel... I can't imagine there's anything, anything other than just a friend. Damn. Though I wonder if she feels the same way about me. Hikari is the kind of girl who- Oh my gosh, so much reading. <laughs> that shoots first and asks questions later, but that's probably due to her being overprotective rather than assertive. That's the reason I assume she is the one who enrolled me at the new academy. Are they allowed to do that legally? I don't know anyone else who cares about my future like she does. When you were younger, she had a habit of following me around everywhere, kind of like a little sister. That habit evolved into meddling in my business and stealing my lunch every day. It probably sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm honestly not. Hikari is a great person, and I'm truly lucky to have a friend like her. I just don't really understand what she sees in me, or what she gets out of our relationship. Anyway, what are you doing out here? Do you have any idea how long it took me to find you? I'm just relaxing. What's the big deal? Relaxing? You don't do anything but relax. You're aware we're starting school tomorrow, right? Yep, painfully aware. Wait, you said we're, as in we? Are you attending class with me, Hikari? Oh, give me a break. I've explained this to you at least six and a half times, I swear. Talking to you is like talking to a brick wall. Except the brick wall is better looking than you are. Damn! Hey, I object to that. Ugh, look! We're gonna go to the academy together and that's final! You don't have a say in the matter, okay? Okay, please don't hurt me. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of hurting you. <laughs> Losers! Um, I have a question though. What kind of classes are we taking? A thoughtful expression crosses Ikari's features. I can tell she's making up her mind. What are the- oh, I can tell she's making up her mind whether to scold me or give me a proper answer. Well, if you lead the guide- uh, if you read the guide I left for you at your house... Here we go. You already know that we'll be taking basic fair steer classes. Nothing too difficult, I'd imagine. They know you're a noob, so you shouldn't have any problems. Somehow being called a noob hurts more than anything else Hikari could come up with. Aren't you a noob as well, Hikari? She looks taken aback, almost as offended as I just got seconds ago. Well, no, I'm not new to this. You've been practicing, you know I've been practicing for years. Practicing? What is she talking about? I'm confused. What have you been practicing? A frown crosses Hikari's face. I know this expression well. It's so, I'm so tired of your clueless ass face. I've been practicing to become a full-fledged magical girl, of course. Her girl's... Her words hit me like a truck. Did she just say magical girl? Somehow the stupor I've been living in for endless months shatters in an instant. I feel like my eyes have opened for the first time in a long time. I see Hikari's smiling face beaming at me as if she's proud of what she just said. Ah, of course, of course. I remember that Hikari is training to become a magical girl. How could I let a magnificent face elude me for so long? I've known as much for years. So if I put two and two together... I'd say the academy we're attending from tomorrow is a school for magical girls. Take that depression! Hi, Lucifer! <laughs> Why am I going? I have no magical talent whatsoever. <laughs> you look like you just took an ice-cold shower, Lumi. Is everything okay? I think about her question for a moment. I do feel more alert now. It's a familiar feeling. It's almost the way I felt before, before finishing my favorite manga series. The truth is, magical girls are very, very real. The time I had my head burned in manga, 
the real life, okay, real life magical girls existed all around me. I was just too nervous to ever go out and meet them. Except for Hikari. I knew her before she ever awakened to her powers. I can't, um, I can't explain why. I've let my mind stay so foggy these past few years. But maybe now with school starting tomorrow, I can begin to work towards becoming a functioning human being again. I give Hikari a light, a smite smile. I give Hikari a slight smile. Hikari, why am I going to school for magical girls? Hikari shuffles on the spot. She seems hesitant to tell me. The truth is... Uh-oh, bad story, sadness time. About a month ago, you and I were having dinner, and all of a sudden, your powers awoke. What? I noticed it immediately. But you seemed like your old oblivious self and barely paid attention to what happened. It very much is. I do like the art style and the, um, the sort of, like, overlays here with the pink and blue. It's very pretty. I do like the text lo uh, log boxes and whatnot. Matches my, uh, avatar, surprisingly. So, what did happen? Like I said, we were having dinner together. I accidentally knocked a glass of water off the table. It was going to shatter on my bare feet, and I screamed, afraid of cutting myself on the glass. It happened so quickly I couldn't move away in time. And you you kind of just glanced at the glass as it stopped mid-air, frozen in time. I mean, literally flo ugh, frozen in time, ice and all. I don't believe you. I don't remember something like that. You just shrugged off and continued eating. I think at the time you just believed I had made the glass freeze in place, and you've known about my magical powers for a long time. I awoke to my powers when I was 13, maybe 14. I don't quite remember, but still. I have a very specific. Oh my goodness, I gotta raise lower. I have a very specific set of powers, and don't forget, I'm untrained. There's no way I could freeze something in time. So after that night, I replayed the event back in my mind over and over. The only explanation is that you froze the glass. You suddenly awoke to your own powers and saved me from getting cut on broken glass. Okay. So what you're saying is I'm a hero? <laughs> Not quite, Lumi. Anyways, to cut a long story short, I never enrolled us to attend the academy. We were both sent letters from the association. Uh, they can detect who has magical powers and who doesn't, you know. They keep a record of everyone. According to the association, once magical girls reach 18 years of age, it's the law for them to attend the academy. The letters basically demand... Oh, demanded we attend the academy effective immediately. Because you awaken to your powers right on the age of 18, you get the joy of going back to school. Regardless, <laughs> We both, uh, start class tomorrow. We'll be training to become magical girls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I do it. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> Baby! All this information is swirling around my head like a tornado. I feel simultaneously excited and exhausted. Do I really have magical girl powers? Can I freeze things in here? Oh, in time. <laughs> I can't think of any other situation where I've done such a thing, and I have no clue how to make it happen again. Well, I suppose that's the point of the academy. They should train me to reach my full potential, right? Libby cozy, Libby cozy. I guess attending class with Ikari won't be so bad. I'll make some new friends, too. <laughs> what do you say we get out of here? We can grab some dinner to celebrate our last night of freedom. Sounds good to me. You're paying, though. I am not, you big luck. You can pay for both of us. Hey, dinner was your idea, not mine. Who should, what should, why, uh, why should I pay? <laughs> Psh, you're up. I don't know, how do I sound? Poop sound. Psh. You're just as hopeless as always. How did I get dragged into going back to school with you? You love it. <laughs> Let's see how many classes we can make it through before I strangle you out of frustration. Words are hard. They are. Also, I'm reading so many so quickly. My brain be like, Bleh. 4 out of 15 Sunday. 4 16 Monday. 
Persona! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> ah, please, for the love of all that is holy, shut up. <laughs> I begrudgingly, I hope I said that right, open my eyes and am greeted by the sight of my alarm clock having a seizure on the floor. This is why I use my phone. Persona mask on and off. Which one, hon? <laughs> La! Oh, do you want the darkened one or the, like, the darterous one? They both work. The glowing red numbers taught my blurry vision by fading in and out at speed. No, I know, I know you want it on, but which one? And I did say it right good. I groan and rub my eyes, trying to clear my vision. Finally, I can make all the numbers in the clock clearly. 8.02 a.m. I yawn. <sighs> Thankfully, it's still early. I've got nothing to do with today except eat leftovers, so why should I set my alarm for such an early time? 8.03 a.m. I smack my lips at the thought of the cold Chinese takeout waiting for me in the refrigerator. I guess we're eating breakfast with our dinner from last night. <laughs> 8.04 a.m. I stifle a yawn. Some distant thought is tugging at the back of my mind. Have I forgotten something important about today? Did I have something more serious to do than eat leftovers? 8.05 a.m. Nah, impossible. There's nothing important going on in my life right now. Maybe Hikari said she'll visit today, or something small like that. 8.06 a.m. Oh yeah, something is coming back to me. School? Am I supposed to go to school today? 8.07 a.m. I feel like a bucket of cold water just splashed over my head. Suddenly, wide awake, I realize that I've completely forgotten that today is my first day at the academy. Everything is coming back to me now. Including the fact that Hikari told me first year orientation starts at 8.30 a.m. Sharp, sharp. 8.08 a.m. I can't be late for my first day at the academy. Oh, wait, Hikari, think of me. I've been waiting for this. Waiting for this. <laughs> Hold on, I have to check my phone for work, so... I hope it's, it's probably nothing, but I might as well look. Ooh, I've been waiting for this. My tracking's gonna stop for a second. What's the same message? Bro, I looked for freaking nothing. Whatever, it's just some kid. <clears throat> I left out of bed like a frog. Ooh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> and a frog launching from a lily pad. I immediately regret this action. As I'm still tangled up in my blankets, they drag me down to the floor. I narrowly avoid hitting my head. I thank my lucky stars that I didn't get hurt. Before frantically scrambling to my feet, I dash out of my room into the kitchen. I open the fridge and I'm greeted by the wavering aroma of sweet, cold, wait, cold, sweet, and sour pork leftovers. I grab the container unceremoniously and launch it across the kitchen, cheering when it lands in the open microwave. Yeah, okay. I dash to the microwave and mash the key button, key bat, blindly. The light flickers to life and the machine starts up with a splutter and a hum. While my excitement choice, oh my goodness, woman raid. While my excellent choice of breakfast is being cooked to perfection, I just died in the get dressed. Right? When I reach my closet, I come to the sinking, wait, what the heck, realization that I don't have an academy uniform yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. I heave open the doors with a sigh, only to be greeted by the sight of an unfamiliar dry cleaning bag on a clean a coat hanger. With a confused frown, I pull the bag down and find a note written on the front in cute handwriting. I went to the trouble of picking up your new uniform for you. You owe me one, Hikari. Oh, that Hikari, she thinks of everything. I turn to the dry cleaning bag and pull out the brand new uniform. I'm in the middle of climbing into my new threads, just as an angry Capicani? Cap Capani? What the heck is that word? Calfi. Calfi. No. A beeps and boops comes to me from the kitchen. Breakfast is ready. This girl. I finish doning my amazing new outfit and rock it into the kitchen to throw some food into my gullet. They just probably went on like, you know, they probably just looked up cinnamons. Synonyms for all these like random basic words and just shoved them into the script of this game. 
cacophony. Cacophony. So. Hey, Titus. My breakfast is demolished in a new personal record of 12.74 seconds, and then I'm out the door in a flash. I hardly even know where I'm going, but I can recall Hikari saying, The Academy is walking distance from my home. It's not hard to find a map on my phone, so I load it up and begin my hurried walk. A little time passes. It's 8.24 a.m. Can I make it in time? Oh, I took off the... my bad. The map on my phone tells me I'll arrive in 8 minutes. I'll be a little late. But a couple of minutes never harm anyone, right? I wonder if Ikari will be there to greet me at the school gate. It would be nice to see a familiar place after this windling whirlwind of morning. <laughs> my power walk involves... evolves into a jog when I see the school gates looming in the distance. I can't believe it. I'm actually gonna make it. Don't they close the school gates at a certain time? There are a few others strangling. Straggling? What the? Straggling? Okay, students making their way into the school. They're all wearing the academy's uniform, including its signature pastel yellow vest. I notice that all the other students are female. I suppose that's not too surprising. This is a school for magical girls, after all. Still, this is the first time I'm witnessing such a thing. Oh yeah, what, did I tell you? What about Everlight? Have you played that game? Is that the one I'm thinking of? He plays like some dude and you date the girls and it's like some zombie setting. I finally reached the school gates. Uh, when I peer beyond them, I can see the other students entering what looks like to be the school hall. I suppose that's where orientation is being held? I glance around to see if Hikari is there. It might be Hikari. No luck though. Maybe she's waiting for me inside the hall? You haven't played it? Okay. I'm nearly there. I can ta almost taste my fashionably late entrance. My foot snags on another student's shoe. Guess I wasn't quick enough to get out of my out of the way. I don't even have time to let out a gasp, but I fall fat on my face on the pavement. Done. I it was so close, I nearly made it. Now I'm just lying on the ground, face down like an idiot. A little squeal erupts from in front of me. My first thought is that maybe I squashed some cute small animal when I fell. Like a kitten or a, squ or a squirrel that can squeal. I push myself off the ground and I'm greeted by an unexpected fly uh, sight. Wow. A cute girl. Wow! I know, right? So wow. Very cute. Look at those thighs. <laughs> they really detailed those. Jeez. A cute girl wearing glasses has fallen onto the ground in front of me. She looks to be about my age, so I assume she's a first year as well? She's trying and falling to failing to cover up her panties. <clears throat> Titus! Which I believe the entire world can now see. <laughs> Don't look! I bashfully turned my head away for at least a second. Then I turned back to her. S stop stop looking! Hi, Ron. I'm sorry, I, I think I knocked you over. N no, I think it was my fault. I was in a rush and wasn't looking where I was going. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. The girl is still trying to adjust her skirt so she could rescue her dignity. Okay, I believe you. Um, are we really late for orientation? Yeah, I think so. That's terrible. I promised myself I would make it on time. I can't believe I slept in. I'm a stupid, stupid girl. Hey now, don't beat yourself up. I slept in too. You don't understand. I only slept in because I went to bed at 3 a.m. Even though I promised myself I wouldn't stay up too late. The girl sure seems interesting. I wonder what could have caused her to stay up so late the day before school starts. Uh, why were you up at 3 a.m.? That's... That's too embarrassing to answer. Come on now, you can tell me. It's not like we're trainer we're strangers. I mean I've seen your yeah! Don't say it. Oops. Fine, I'll tell you why I was up so late. I was watching films. Films? Huh. I wonder what kind of films. It's not my fault I have trouble going to bed after watching horror movies. I start to see shadows lurking in every corner, and I get too scared to even start to sleep. I don't expect anyone like you to know what that's like. To become so engrossed in the tale of the macro... Mac... Fudge! Mark... 
Macrob. No, bro, it's Macarb. No, it's Mac. Macra. Macra. I think the beast I learned. Shadows! <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Until you have experienced that kind of paralyzing terror, you'll never understand the joy of cult horror films. The girl's breathing heavily, obviously exhausted from her passionate outburst. I think she may have a screw loose. You haven't lived until you've seen a film that makes your toes curl, chills your bones, and gives you goosebumps all at the same time. Macub. Macab. Macab. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. So this girl likes to scare herself senseless, and then she wonders why she can't get to sleep at a decent hour. So, um, you haven't covered up your, uh, you know. The girl squeezed again in embarrassment. I'd feel sorry for her if the view wasn't in my favor. Stop. Stop looking. Sorry. And why am I cursed with such bad luck? How can something so embarrassing happen on the very first day of school? I suppose I understand why she's distressed. Maybe I should say something to calm her down. Um, by the way, what's your name? My name? I wonder what it is. I can't I can't see any name right there or anything. Yeah, is that such an unusual question? No, I suppose not. My name is Yui. Yui Akiyama. Um, pleased to meet you, I guess. It's nice to meet you, Yui. <laughs> I just bust, I just messed up, yeah. My name is Lumi. I get off to my- I get- what the frick? I get to my feet and brisk dust myself off. I'm looking at my tablets, there's nothing that messes up my words. <laughs> I reach a hand out to Yui. Here, I'll help you up. I swear that Yui blushes for a second. Oh my god, the art. <laughs> Before grabbing my hand. Her fingers are soft and delicate. Warm. She grabs my fans ever so lightly and I manage to lift her to her feet. Th thank you. I'm sorry you had to meet under such distressing some circumstances. I don't sweat it. I'm just happy to have met you at all. The soft red blush returns to her cheeks and she looks away shyly. We should go. Yeah. La 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 la. Without another word, Yui takes the lead and walks in front of me. I follow behind her obediently. We make our way to the entrance of the school hall. Zena! Look what Titus is making me play! <laughs> Look what he's making me. I bought. Oh yeah, guys, I bought Berserk Man of the Hawk, y'all. We're gonna, we're gonna be playing that sometime eventually, okay? <laughs> um, we make our way to the entrance of the school hall. The big wooden doors are enclosed, bearing our way forward. Yui tries pulling the handle. The door is stuck fast. She frowns, then changes tactics, pulling the door instead. Still no luck. That door is the door is securely locked. Do they really lock out latecomers? Don't worry, it's a murderous game, Zeta. It's got murder in it. That's everything I'm playing right now. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm sorry you have to deal with ads. Glad you got on uh, your school Wi-Fi. I guess so. I hope you have headphones in, because I'm sure I'm very cringe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we going to be punished for missing orientation? I don't think I can handle detention. Calm down, calm down. I'm sure we're not going to be punished. We'll just have to wait here until orientation ends, I suppose. I give Yui a shug. If we wait around for the students to leave the hall, we'll surely run to Hikari. Hikari will know what to do. She always does. I think it's Hikari. Hikari is from Oka Octopath 2, but eh. In the meantime, why don't we just get to know each other? Ron! <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Thank you for the gifted sub, the Titus. You're so sweet. We love Ron in this house. He's a good friend, but he doesn't have to always spend his money. <laughs> Much appreciated, my friend. Oh, he's a wonderful mod, too. Even though he sleeps half the time. Sleepy Rod! I hope your stream's going well, my friend. <laughs> Yui doesn't say anything. A down... Tro trodden? <laughs> Rob? Yeah, no, it's Rod. Don't call him Rob. He'll get Rob! <laughs> Expression has etched itself onto her features. She leans against the wall and lets out a sigh. Um, so, do you know any magic? Either she doesn't hear me out or she's choosing to ignore me. Her eyes are closed, though she's trying to block out the world around her. That's true. You are trying. I love you guys. Very not much I can do, I suppose. I slumped down to sit on the ground. I always love having company. Thank you, guys. 
I have no idea how long orientation goes for or how long we'll be waiting around here. I hope everyone's having a good evening, though. A bell rings! Finally, orientation is finished. The doors of the school hall swing right open, and a flood of students leak out of the building. There must be hundreds of girls all scurrying forward. As they exit the hall, they split into different directions, surely heading towards their first classes for the day. If only I knew where my classes were. I could head towards where I'm supposed to go, but I've got no clue what I'm doing here. I need to find Hikari. I stand to the side as all the students tumble out of the hall. I lose sight of Yui on the other side of the crowd. Oh well, she stopped talking to me anyway. Not my fault. I desperately try to capture a glimpse of Yuki- oh, blah, 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 Of Hikari's familiar face in the crowd. It doesn't help that she's shorter than most of the other students, so she'll most likely be lost in the group. I suddenly feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. You idiot! How could you miss orientation? I was waiting inside the hall for you, and then they locked the doors, and I had to sit by myself. Hikari, I'm sorry. I don't want to hear it. You let me down, Lumi. You're gonna make up to this. You're gonna make this up to me now. I will. I will. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Billy, how are you? Titus, thank you for the stretch hydrated posture check. <laughs> I'm stretching in my chair. I'm stretching. I'm stretching. My back is stretching. I'm stretching. My posture, my face seems okay. Cute as always. And I'm going to drink some water. Thank you. Mucho gracias, my friends. Luna, Luna. Millie, Millie. How are you and Cooper? I was also, how's your dog too? Mm -hmm. What happened anyway? Did you sleep in? Well, yeah, I did. But I actually got here at a decent time. Uh, the problem is I knocked another girl over and we got caught up talking. Another girl? Yeah, actually. Because the crowd has thinned out, I can see Yui standing awkwardly by the doors. It was that girl over there. Hikari looks towards Yui standing all alone. I see. So she's a first year as well? Looks kind of lost. Yeah, I think so. Since we got locked outside, we weren't sure what to do. Hey, look, there's a typo. What do do? <laughs> or where to go? <laughs> I was kind of hoping you could help us, Hikari. Hikari looks... Should I call her Hikari or Hikari? Do you know how it's pronounced, Titus? It's in a dilemma. Almost looks sad just for a moment, but then a bright smile fla uh, flashes across her face. Hikari. Gotcha. So it's like Alcabat too, got it. I'm always happy to help. Now that orientation is over, we have to go do our, to our homeroom and meet our teacher. I could lead the way, dude, dude. Hee hee, kaka, poo poo, pee pee, shit. <laughs> Hikari begins to slip away. I grab Yui's attention with a wave and beckon her towards us. Hey! Over here! <laughs> huh? Uh, what? What is it? We can go to homeroom and meet our teacher now. Do you want to follow us? Yeah, okay, thanks. With that, the three of us make our way to the classroom. Lumi smug. The classroom is noisy. There must be 30 students packed in, shouting away and waiting for the teacher to arrive. Hikari managed to find seats for myself and Yui, all lined up next to each other by the window. Not a bad arrangement if I do say so myself. I glance around the room. It's all it all feels familiar. Just like high school all over again. This what they're aren't they like 18? They should still be yeah, well, they could be in uh, college call it now, yeah. The students aren't even in clicks, and it's only the very first day. There's a group of sporty looking girls at the back of the class. One of them is bouncing a basketball for some reason. I don't know why she brought that to the academy. Maybe just to reinforce her clique's stereotype. At the front of the class are the bookworms. They're shy, speaking only in whispers, and glancing nervously around at the other students. Oh, we probably should save. How do we do that again? Okay. Save. Dude. Hanging out. Oh. Um, game. See. Well, it's okay. Now it's not full screen anymore. Hold up. Whoa, there we go. Whoa. No, wait. Whoopsie. Okay, no, never mind. Sorry, here. <laughs> so if I do it a certain way, it's a little silly. Ah! There we go. My bad. But my my bar, my toolbar, you can't see it, but my toolbar is here. Wasn't supposed to be showing. Whatever. 
And the clamor of voices quiets down as the classroom opens and a woman enters. She makes herself to the way of the front of the class, offers a smile and begins her speech. Good morning, class. I'm your homeroom teacher, Miss Otsuka. Yeah. But you can all call me by my first name, Satomi. Look at my milkers. Very big water balloons. Yep. <laughs> yes. You'll find that I'm a very informal teacher. Unlike any teacher you've had during your school years, for sure. It's my hope that we'll all become friends during your first year here at the Academy. I hope that we can build a relationship that carries on long after you graduate. New teacher Satomi seems really nice. I can't really pick out just one defining feature of this new teacher. No, I have to pick two. She has two very large, very defining features. The breasts behind the counter. The receptionist behind the counter. The big breasts behind the counter. Date? Date, am I playing as you? <laughs> female Date. <laughs> Does that mean I'm female Date? <laughs> no. I ain't ever murdered. On a, sh less blah, blah, blah. On a less shallow note, I guess she has an inviting smile. Overall, she blah. Overall, she's not bad for an older woman. Okay. <laughs> she seems to have captured the class's attention. Hmm. Even the rebellious girls have taken a seat to show their respect. I'm sure you all have a million questions burning in your brains, especially after orientation. Rest assured, I am here to help each one of you achieve your goals and get good grades during the year. As your homeroom teacher, I'll offer you support and guidance. If you need assistance with any of your subjects, you can always come to me. Satomi claps her hands together and beams. Now then, with that out of the way... As she takes a step forward, her elbow knocks a stack of papers off her desk. Important looking documents scatter all over the floor. The class gasps. <gasps> then falls silent, waiting to see how she reacts to the mess she just made. Oops. Satomi's face turns bright red. And she bends over. Oh, bends down to pick up some of the papers. <laughs> she lowers herself as a loud thud echoes through the classroom. I don't know, I'm stuck at my desk. <laughs> and her head slams into the corner of her desk. The class gasp one more. Once more. <gasps> then in silence. <gasps> I hear a slight giggle from Yui. <laughs> Seated next to me, she thinks, obviously, that the whole affair is pretty funny. A few girls rush to the front of the class to help the teacher pick up her paper. She's a klutz, I feel. Miku! When Satomi stands up, I can make out the faint purple outline of a bruise forming on her forehead. After two clumsy failures, Satomi hasn't exactly managed to maintain her composure. She's glowing red, and a bead of embarrassment sweat trickles down her face. Class, if you could all just ignore that little spectacle, I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> a few students giggle quietly. <laughs> Satomi does her best to continue with her speech. Somehow she hasn't entirely lost the class respect, which is admirable. Okay, class, where was I? Oh, yes. First of, uh, our first, for our first, for our first piece of business today. I'll be covering the subjects you'll be learning this year. Let's begin. There are three core subjects you must all intend in order the progress of the Academy. These subjects are Magical History, Practical Magic, and Alchemy. Any other subjects you choose to undertake at the Academy are optional, but will provide credits towards your overall degree. In Magical History class, we will learn all about the origin of the magical girls that have become commonplace in our world. You will discover how they came into being and their importance in our modern society. In practical magic class, you'll undertake rig rigorous magical training to hone your minds and bodies. You'll learn spells and abilities that are essential for a magical girl to undertake her duties. <clears throat> Finally, in alchemy class, you'll become familiar with the art of crafting magical items. From magical swords to staves, staves to portions and portals. And this is where your creativity will be put to the test. Is it because I need to hydrate every few minutes? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a lot of talking. Hmm, that all sounds pretty good. I had no idea there was so much involved with becoming a magical girl. <clears throat> I have a water. Thank you, Titus. Thank you. You are amazing. 
<laughs> Gotta make them lugs work. <laughs> Does that matter? <laughs> I hear the scurried scratching of pen on paper and look to my left. Hikari <clears throat> is scribbling notes frantically, her tongue sticking out the side of her mouth as she concentrates. To my right, Yui is also taking notes, though she's decorated the page of her notebook with doodles of a wicked witch stirring a cauldron. <clears throat> your time here at the Academy will be one of the most memorable experiences of your life. In fact, when you look back on these days, you may think it was all just a dream. That's how pleasant your days here will be. With that being said, don't think you can just slack off. No! Don't think you can just slack off. In order to graduate, you will need to put in a lot of work. Don't expect to excel at every class. All students are different, and you may find that what comes to you naturally is very difficult for somebody else. It's important to not let your classes and studying time dominate your life. Socialize! Make friends! Take the time once in a while to relax. I highly recommend joining a club. When you get the chance, we host a variety of fun clubs that you can attend in your free time. Take part in activities and meet new people. Finally, to wrap up my little speech, I need to tell you what to expect at exam time. The Academy runs exams twice during the year. You can expect an exam each semester. <clears throat> The key attributes we assess you are on magic, alchemy, perception, and expertise. It's important to focus on raising these attributes during your study time. You can improve your attributes with theory or practice. There's no wrong way to go. Reading books, taking time to study, practicing spells, or performing alchemy. All of these activities will help you improve and improve your attributes. <laughs> You may find that all other activities outside of school also help you out. Be sure to explore and find out what works best for you. If your key attributes are high enough, come exam time, you will no doubt perform very well. So as long as you work hard in improving yourself, you have no need to stress. Should you fail your exams? Well, let's not go into that today, okay? I'm sure you will all succeed with flying colors. Satomi so smiles widely at the class. Everyone seems to be in a good mood after hearing her passionate speech and forgot her clumsiness earlier. <clears throat> I run through the subjects she talked about in my head. Magical history, practical magic, and alchemy. They all sound fairly interesting. I get the feeling I'll enjoy magical practice the most, after all. Isn't that about casting spells and seeing real magic happen before your eyes? So Tommy wraps up her little speech with a heartfelt... Oh with a few heartfelt quotes from some famous magical girls, or something along those lines. I started getting hungry, so I began to zone out. <laughs> Whoa. Um, excuse me. So, Lumi, what did you think? Everything sounds exciting, huh? Uh, yeah, I think I'll actually enjoy my time here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I have a feeling we'll uh, have most of our classes together, so we can help each other out with our studies. I know it's Yui standing on the side of the corridor. She's glancing at her phone absent-mindingly. I get the feeling she's not one to make friends easily. And she doesn't seem to know anyone at the school. Maybe I should make an effort and invite her to hang out with Hikari, Hikari and myself? I'm super excited about magical history class. I want to learn about all the magical girls from history. Like John D. Ark and Cleopatria. I let Hikari trail off as I wander off to Yui. Hey. I run. Hello, Ron. How is thou? It doesn't even say you're in chat. How are you here? <laughs> I gotta blow my nose. That might also help me. Hello. Where are you today? Stream lies. Hey! How are you? <laughs> Oh, you finished stream? How'd it go? Any new followers or anything cool? Yui looks up from her phone, somewhat taken aback. I I wasn't waiting around for you or anything like that. I I just don't know anyone here. It's okay, don't sweat it. Um, I'm sorry about running into you, you know, this morning. You don't want to hug Titus? What's wrong? 
Nah? Oh, like, no, you mean no, uh, no followers or anything? Aww. Damn. You deserve some. It's okay. I'm glad I met at least one new person today. Me too. I don't mind. Oh, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, okay, Ron. Yeah, yeah, it took me a minute. Sorry, sorry. You're more than welcome to hang out with myself and Hikari. Thank you. I'd like that. I'll feel more comfortable having a few friends around. Hikari stomps over to... Hikari! In a huff. Lumi! I was in the middle of talking to you and you just walked away. Who taught you to be so rude? It certainly wasn't me. <laughs> Sorry, Hikari. Um, I should probably introduce you since we're both... We'll be taking classes together. Yeah. A little, a little, a little. Hikari! Wait, now I'm, now I'm messed. It's Hikari. Come on, girl. This is Yui. And Yui, this is my little friend, Hikari. Hikari, 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 Hikari. Your little friend? Is that all I am to you? Ha! Huh. We've known each other for how many years now? The amount of disrespect I get from you is incredible! Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, Hikari. I'm sorry. Ha! Huh. Yui, Hikari is my childhood friend. We've known each other forever. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Hikari. Nice to meet you, too. Since we're all new here, we should all be friends. It will make school more fun, right? Yeah, yeah. That sounds good, Lumi. Yui then does something I didn't expect. She formally bows to Hikari. Hikari, I hope we can be good friends. Please take care of me. I'm taken aback by her formality and politeness. Even Hikari, 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 <laughs> has a shocked look on her face and can only offer, offer a stutterous reply. Th thank you. I hope we can be good friends. Yui offers Hikari a warm smile, then blushes a little back and goes back to burying her face in her phone. Guess she got a little embarrassed. Hey, who wants to get something to eat? Lomi is paying today. Hey. Yui and Hikari chuckle at my expense before dragging me out to lunch. After we stuffed our faces with food, the three of us returned to class. The rest of the afternoon was filled with a tour of the school grounds and an introduction to optimal optional subjects we could enroll they forgot now in. All in all, it was a pretty full on day, even though our actual core classes haven't begun yet. The teachers wrapped up their first day at 5, 3 p.m., telling us to go on our merry way and get some rest for tomorrow. Hikari offered to walk home with me, so we said goodbye to Yui, who was heading in the opposite direction. Before long, Hikari and I found ourselves outside of my place. Typical anime home. <laughs> oh my god! So, all in all, what did you think of your first day? I'm liking it so far. Even though we haven't started learning any magic yet. Yes, well, from tomorrow on, it's classes as normal, so you best be prepared. I don't want to catch you slacking and letting your grades drop. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll do my best. Thanks! What do you think of Nui? Oh. Here we go. The choices that matter. Uh, she's nice. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, was that asking me about Yui? Did I? Wait. Oh, she doesn't like that. Okay, so you lose, like, points with them. That's what you want to hear, I figured. Hikari blushes a deep crimson. Uh, hey, what are you even talking about, Lumi? You're so silly sometimes. Hikari's affection has raised by two. But Yui seems to live in her own little world. But people like Yui, you never know what they're thinking. It might be best to be careful around her. I give Hikari a nod. Though, I'm not too worried. I've seen a side of Yui that Hikari hasn't seen. Even that side is just underwear, at the very least. I know Yui can let her guard down. Anyway, I think I should have an early night. We'll be biting up. We'll be up bright and early tomorrow. I don't want to repeat performance of you being late. Roger that. I'll set my alarm extra early. Make sure you do. Or else. 
Hikari beams her familiar smile and then skips away. See you tomorrow, classmate! I wave sheepishly, sheepishly as Hikari goes on her way. I should head inside too and rest up. After all, tomorrow is another school day. Da 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 da! Jupe's the bird! Jupe's the bird! Da 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 da! Jupe's here! <laughs> it just popped in my head, I don't know why. Loomy love, Loomy love, Loomy love. For some reason, I am much more energetic this morning. For some reason, I'm much more energetic this morning. Maybe it's because I have a clear idea of what's in store for today. And I had a pretty good day yesterday, too. I woke up on time. Brushed my teeth and even took a shower. Silky clean. What was that? Oh, 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 oh. I've heard that text tone before. Wasn't it Emily? Emily fades away. Emily texts Emily goes away or something. I swear I've heard it from there. After putting, I didn't play it, but I watched Markiplier on a couple other YouTubes. I think Corey did it. Did Corey do it. He hasn't made videos of ever. Corey, X Kenshin, hello. After putting on my brand new uniform from the academy, my phone beep beeped in a nice tune to let me know about an incoming text message. I check the screen and my eyes are assaulted by a hailstorm of animated emojis. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mom had to leave early for work today. Uh, I don't want to eat breakfast alone. Can I come have breakfast with you? Yes, no. Well, there's no doubt this is from Hikari. Hikari. She always texts like this. I heave a sigh. I send her a one-letter word reply. No. She texts like me? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I don't text all excitedly with exclamation marks and, and question marks anymore. Maybe when I was like 18 or 20. Before I can even- I do not type like that. What are you talking about, Titus? <laughs> Silence, wench! Before I can even put my phone down. I always shorthand things. Hey, it takes so much work. I'm normally busy, okay? If I'm busy and at work, I will use acronyms. Leave me alone. Good morning, GM. Everybody uses that. What are you trying to say? <laughs> A reply pops up on my screen. Mimi, be nice to me. Classic Hikari. A second reply follows. By the way, I'm outside. Seriously? If I didn't know her so well, I'd swear this girl has issues with boundaries. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I head towards the front door and open it up. I'm greeted by a gentle breeze. The fresh spring air is crisp this morning and feels nice on my skin. Hikari is standing there, glaring angrily at her phone. A single cherry blossom petal is stuck in her hair. Can't believe you don't want me over for breakfast. Next time I won't ask, I'll just show up. Uh, that's pretty much the same as right now. Shh, I don't want to hear it. Now move out of the way. I'm making us pancakes! <laughs> I'm making us pancakes! I'm making us pancakes and bacon. Oh, am I, I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. <laughs> Thank you, Titus. <laughs> Well, anytime they mention pancakes, man. Man! Man! Had that sound effect on the ready? You were just waiting for two? <laughs> well, I just can't complain about that. Hikari is pretty good at making pancakes, even if she just uses the pre made mix from the store. Hikari heads into the kitchen and starts humming as she prepares breakfast. I decided to sit down at the table and just wait for Hikari to expand her energy. I know why you wanted me to play this game. It's for the pancakes, isn't it? I know you so well, Titus. <laughs> oh, I skipped that one! No! Ta-da! Pancakes a la cari, a la hikari. My family's secret recipe. You bought the pre-made mix from the store, didn't you? I am? I am? I thought it was Hikari. What was I saying? Hikari? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Ugh, yes, but I added sugar. Sugar, it's a secret ingredient. Hikari. I poke my tongue out at her and dig in. Bleh. Sure enough, the pancakes are good, nice and fluffy. Somehow, all the instant food Hikari makes tastes way better than when I make it myself. Maybe she adds sugar to everything, even instant noodles. Bleh. Hikari has a mouthful of food when she decides to tell me one of her trademark weird stories. I had a dream about you last night. 
we were together, walking through a dark and eerie forest. I was so scared, but you were brave. You told me that no one could hurt me as long as you were around. So that made me feel better. Until we ran into an evil witch. The witch said, Eat this cauldron of boiled mushrooms or I'll place a curse and wicked spell on you. You refused to eat the disgusting concoction. So the witch pulled over her wand out and pointed it at you. Zap boom tazam! You transformed into a gross mushroom. The witch cackled and disappeared into the darkness. I looked into your disgusting mushroom face and saw that you had eyes and a mouth. Even as a mushroom, you still had your usual dopey look. It made me really happy that you were still yourself. Uh, weird dream, right? Yep. But it got me thinking. If you turned into a talking mushroom, what would you do with yourself? Uh, I'm gonna. What if I answer this game? Let's do this. If I answer it the way I would think that I would answer in response, and then see what we end up getting. <laughs> I'd wait for- i wait until you ate me, only a matter of time until you got hungry. I don't know, it was a stupid dream and I'm not a mushroom so it doesn't matter. I'd find a nice hot spring and have a soak until I became soup. I'd say the middle, but I'll go with this. Wait, what? <laughs> That's just the kind of silly answer I was hoping for. Ikari's infection has increased by one. You always know how to answer my random questions. Thanks, Lumi. Ikari and I both finished eating. It was a good breakfast, that's for sure. Though I can't help but feel a little sleepy after packing my face full of food. Ikari must be feeling the same way because she begins to yawn. The little cherry blossom petal that was stuck in her hair flutters down and lands on her empty plate. Oh, look, I'm so happy that the cherry blossoms are in season again. This is my favorite time of the year. The trees look so pretty. Ikari's face turns red and she blushes. I'm glad we got to go to school together in the meantime. It's such a wonderful dream come true. I return Hikari's smile, and have to admit I feel the same way she does. It really is a nice time of the year, and the perfect season for a new beginning. Oh snap! We have to get going or we'll be late! Well, here we go again. The mad rush to get to school on time, even though I woke up early this morning. If we're late today, at least I can blame Hikari's absurd mushroom dream story. We all grab our stuff and hastily make our way to the door. We toast in our mouth. Oh, good morning. I get the feeling that she's waiting for us here. Too nervous to venture into the school alone. Luckily, Hikari and I managed to get here just in time. Yui is holding a nicely decorated box in her hands. I assume it's a bento lunch box? Um, I made some sweets for us to share today. Would you be interested in meeting up for lunch? Hikari literally jumps with joy. Sweets? I love sweets. Let's have lunch together. I nod and smile. Thanks, Yui. That sounds like a good idea. Yui's face turns red and she sadly lo lowers her head. Ah, I'm glad. I'll look forward to it. But for now we get... <laughs> but for now we need to get back to class. March, march! So, she's kind of like Sayori. Yui's like... Yui. Wonder if we'll meet someone else soon. <clears throat> Who am I liking more right now? Um... I liked, uh... I like Sayori the most. At first I liked Natsuki, so in this case I like Ikari more. Yui's cute though. Bookworms are really cute. Oh, new teacher. Good morning, new students, and welcome to your first magical history class. My first name is... Isaline? Arkane? Arkan? You plays for all the girls and women. <laughs> I'll be your teacher for this class. It is my duty to ensure that you pass your exams and move on to become second year students. She's pretty though. Yeah, she's from Brazil. Nice. As I can't do her this accent though. I'm sorry. I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm too white. As I'm sure you can tell from my accent, I am not originally from Japan. 
Oh, I was born into Brazil, a country that many of you would know is famous for its culture of magic for the teachers, yeah. <laughs> Indeed, many famous magic girls have emerged from Brazil over the years. I don't know if I'm gonna read everything. Took me forever. I've been reading for an hour. <laughs> Do you want me to read every single line, Titus? No! Oh, darn it, that was an accident. In today's girl, today's world, what? Evil is a rare thing to come across. Because of that, the average magical girl spends the majority of her time contributing to society instead of engaging in combat. Blah 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 blah. It's just a teacher, so. Lastly, becoming a teacher is a noble pursuit. But like myself, we use our acknowledgement and knowledge of the magical arts to help mold the youth of the future. During your time here at the Academy, you'll likely ask yourself over and over again what it is you aim to do once you graduate. Picking any of the three professions I've talked about today is an excellent choice, but be aware, these jobs are on high demand and you'll have a lot of competition. Now. You mentioned me, probably. Gary. Bruh, I might ignore him. He's so annoying. <laughs> he can be, at least. Okay. The bell rings for lunch. Oh, they use like an 8 bit version? That's interesting. Whoa, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I know. I'm so unladylike. He has been discovered! Wait, seriously? This early? You would think? Maybe later? Not yet. Are we getting close? <laughs> Hi! Oh, hey! Did you enjoy that class? Yes, it was very interesting. I have written 20 pages of notes. 20 pages? How could you write so much in our first lesson? Not sure, I think I just write quickly. How many pages of notes did you write? Uh, one maybe? Huey looks at me with disappointment. Well, if you need to look over my notes, you're more than welcome. I smile and nod. Hikari is the last person to shuffle out of the classroom. She's mumbling something about wanting to become a musical idol and not a doctor. Hey, Hikari, you okay? She looks taken aback. I'm fine! Oh. My bad, um... Where were we? I'm fine! I was just chatting to the teacher about which career path I should take. Already? It's the second day of class and you're already thinking about your career? Well, of course! I can't just drift aimlessly, I need to have a goal! I just realized something about the screen too. Um... My bad, I'll fix it. It wants to move. There we go. Okay. That's better. Right, wait. Oh, my bad. Okay. I don't think there's any black lines showing. At least I hope not now. Nah, I'm good. Yui giggles a little. Hikari looks flustered, but I can tell she doesn't want to get into a heated argument in front of Yui. Hikari changes her demeanor completely when she sees the box of sweets Yui showed up this morning. She sidles up to Yui, a devious expression coming across her face. Hey, Yui! Do you want to share some sweets with us? I roll my eyes at Hikari's predictable behavior. To say she has a sweet tooth is an understatement. To Yui's credit, she just smiles and nods. I bought these sweets for all of us, so I'm really hoping they're looking forward to sh- I'm really hoping- I'm really looking forward to sharing with you both. Thank you, hi. Thank you, Jen. I have a little bit of congestion. But that's never new. How's school, by the way? Are you in class? I mean, at least you're at school, you seem to be, at least. You get out of class or something? 
Me boy knows again. How did classes go? Still runny. Oh. And you're just still at school, just chilling? Don't want to go home yet, I guess. Jackpot! Let's go find somewhere to eat. Oh, you did? Really? That's sweet. I'm glad you stuck around to help him out. Do you live in the dorms? Oh yeah, you told me. <laughs> I think you did. It's completely silent up here. No other students inside. I always wanted to live at the dorms, but it was expensive for my school. Anything to get away from my crazy home life. <laughs> if I could have afforded it, I would have so badly. I wanted. I've always wanted to experience that, but I guess I never will. I guess living in the hotel is similar enough. It's free for you? Did you get a scholarship? Actually, I wouldn't doubt it with all those trophies you have! Lucky boy. <laughs> Perfect, this can be our lunch hangout. It's not bad, I have to admit. There are a few places to sit, and the air is nice and fresh up here. Lucky B-A-S-T-A-R-D. <laughs> Titus and Jelly. Wish I could live at the dorms when I went to school. Oh, you did? Oh, but you like this one. Well, I hope you like the school you're going to. Pre-calc and psychology courses. Oh, lovely. I hate calculus. I hate math. I never, I never was good at it, no matter how hard I tried. Psychology seems uh, interesting. Yui opens up the beautifully lapped box. She's been tucking her neat, her arm underneath. She removes the lid to reveal a neatly organized selection of homemade treats as she bakes. Oh, you're in culinary school. I'm jelly. I remember you were sending some food that you made, right? Yui, did you make all these? Yes. Well, except the watermelon, of course. Everything looks amazing. I can't believe it. I have to try one of everything. I just have to. Yui seems to take Ikari's uh, greed as a compliment. My nose is... I know it helps the nose walking around. That might help drainage. You know what? I'll hit the bathroom real quick. That'll help me. I will be right back, Titus. Let me get the mouse to do its thing, now. Oh, really? What makes you want to go from culinary school to the police academy? Wish you best of luck, though. That's awesome. You be careful when you go.
bit. Oh, I should get another water. Hold up. Titus, I will reach out. Let's see, me sat down. Oof. Can't break my lungs as well. <laughs> Lots of reading. I love these games with they require a lot of reading. Wanna do as many things in life as possible. People will write stories about. You want to become the world's most interesting man, like in that Dos Equis commercial? Yo, Titus with the big dreams. I hope the best for you. I don't know what commercial you're referring to. Now I gotta look at it. Dos Equis commercial. You want like the world record for that? Oh, like the beer, what beer commercials? Yeah. Oh, I know which one. Okay. <laughs> I applaud you for your dreams and hope you do achieve them. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it's not you, I swear. I've had a long day. I had to go to work. I wasn't supposed to. Like I. I worked the past five days, but they needed help, so I went in. Yeah, I, I see now. <laughs> Thanks, Huey. Everything looks really good. Do your best, though, Titus. Maybe you'll get there. You never know. Oh my god, stop burping. I'm so gross. You were in a charity? Wow. What? That's wonderful. To raise for money for that because that stuff's scary. Yeah, Ebola's scary. Yui smiles again, possibly even more than she did for Hikari. Hikari. I bite into a mochi ball and let the sweet red bean paste fill my mouth. I want one of those. 2012? Wow. We've gotten into quite a few cool things, huh? The flavor is incredible. Magical transformation, golden turtle. Hi, Goldie. How are you? It's unlike anything I've tasted before. Yeah, hello. You must have a real knack for making sweets. Beans? 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 Lady on. This is amazing, Yui. Thank you for sharing with us. How are you today, Goldie? <laughs> I gotta try to catch your next stream. Oh, I'm more happy, more than happy to share. You two are my newest friends, so I'm glad I can make something you both like. I chop on a few chestnuts and take a look over Hikari. She has chocolate all over her face and watermelon juice dripping from the top of her nose. Tip. I just shake my head and continue to enjoy the treats. Tired? You gotta cook? Aw, oh, poor thing. Titus, go cook for Goldie right now. <laughs> Get that bromance in, energy in. You guys, make some, I don't know. You can make even basic ramen if you have to. I've eaten it before. Make a nice chicken up for a little. Hope you eat well, though. Yui doesn't seem to be eating anything. She's just smiling and watching me enjoy myself. Okay. Thanks so much, Yui. I really enjoyed the sweets. You're very welcome, Lumi. I nudge Hikari to encourage her to thank Yui, but she seems to be in a food coma and fast asleep. Yo, roasted duck? I've never had that. Sorry about Hikari. She can be a bit herself. Oh, it's not a bother. I can tell she liked the food, so for me, that's the best things I can get. Where did you learn to make stuff like that? Hmm, I don't know, to be honest. I just read a lot and pick up things here and there. No one ever really showed me how to make sweets. You're vegetarian? Ah! Are you eating so many patties there, failure? Nothing wrong with that. Interesting. Well, I look forward to having some more next time. Of course. So, um, 
Lumi? Do you have a boyfriend? Or a girlfriend? Uh, I'm not gay! Though I did pick the girl option because I'm a girl. Yo, broccoli stew, let's go! Can I have some? I, um, er, well, I... Uh, I'm sorry, it's okay. You don't have to answer me. I was just trying to make conversation. Oh, I thought she was forward. No, it's okay. No need to be sorry. The truth is, I don't have either. I'm single right now. Oh, is that... Is that so? Then what do you look for in a person? Oh. Oh. Um. Hmm. I don't care about the bottom one. The top one's cute. I like girls that are comfortable being themselves. That would be Ikari. She wouldn't like that. Sorry, Yui. <laughs> I mean... I do like girls like her, though. I love the girl from Beyond the Boundary. Back when I was, like, 16, she was one of my favorite characters. I kinned her, bro. I don't know why. I don't remember why. I never even wore Megami. I never wore glasses in my life. <laughs> it was the short hair thing. <laughs> I still love that, that anime. It's one of my favorites to this day. Um... Who the heck's tall, fit girl, by the way? I'm not looking. What did I land on? Where am I? Oh, I didn't land at all. Yeah, I know. I would I would normally pick what I would think. So. Yeah. Well, thank you for telling me. Just so you know, I'm acting as this character, so I will pick whatever I think, I guess. I'm single, too. And I thought it would be fi uh, nice to find a partner during my time at the Academy. That's pretty much my goal, too. I want to have a boyfriend by New Year's Eve. It's my ultimate dream. <laughs> Why did they make us gay? A partner by New Year's Eve? That's a good dream. Maybe I'll make it my goal, too. Oh, God, we're gonna get the girls kissing. Hmm. Yui's kidding. I guess we're looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> Yui seems to be kind of into me. There was one... Was it one or two girls in my life a very, very long time ago? One wasn't IR. I don't think they were IRL. One I knew was a friend online for a while, and it was I don't. It was the first time a girl ever confessed to me, and was gay for me. It was very weird. I've never had a girl like me like that. I saw to date a magical girl. I know. <laughs> so we'll just date one. It's okay. Though I can't really make a move with Hikari. Pretending to be asleep right next to us. And it would probably be a good idea. Oh, Hikare! Idea to get to know Yui better before I ask her to be my girlfriend. What? I'll give her some time. At the very least, she seems to like me a lot. That's a great start. Kill. She's cute. A body has been discovered! I have to get that sound effect. <laughs> I will add it. Oh! Oh, it looks like our lunch break is over. Well, we better get our next class. Yeah, but knowing how Yuri is... Uh-uh. I'm worried she might be the same. Especially with all pen BS. Uh, wh what's happening? Wake up, sleepyhead. We're going to our next class. Oh, no, but I haven't had a proper lunch yet. I've only eaten sweets. Well, you should have thought about that before you devoured your weight in chocolate. Oh. You and I laugh at Hikari's chocolate-faced expression. We all head downstairs on our way to the next class. Ah, uh, finally home. The rest of my day went by pretty quickly. I ended up taking Yui's advice and started writing more notes during other classes. Wonder what she eats. We've been playing for three days game time. Morning routine. Use the time before. <laughs> it's Persona 5, the magical girl spin off dating simulator. What in the world is this? From your bedroom, you can view the calendar and check your friend's schedules. Plan your day according to the schedule or who you want to spend time with. I've got some time just before school. What should I do? Oh. Oh, this is cute. Q 
cutie star's tip of the day. Buying items from a shop doesn't take time. Do your shopping before other activities. How do I buy? Okay, so she's in the classroom and the cafe sheep at night. She's in the forest at night. Interesting. Um. Okay, so we can only go straight to school, school though. It doesn't look like we're able to do much here. Right? At least we can kind of see where they are. Why is it like weird? crack-headed teacher that everyone probably thinks is hot. I'll probably kill you all. Henry. Good morning, students. It's sorry, sorry, bro. You're not Maruki. <laughs> I'm your alchemy teacher, Henry Steiner. You will do as I say, and that way no one will get blown to pieces. <laughs> Someone forgot to mix the bells right. <laughs> True. The students are silent. No one dares laugh along with the teacher. None of us can tell if he's serious or not. Look, he's got an untucked shirt, unwashed, crazy face. I am mod scientist, son of a bitch. I want that one too, but I, there's only a limit to the amount of sound effects I can get. <laughs> You're all new to the academy, so I will go ahead and assume none of you have any inkling as to the true nature of academy. I mean alchemy, my bad. Alchemy is not magic. I think Edward and Al would fit here perfectly. Alchemy is not science. Alchemy is a precise art and only can be practiced by those who dedicate themselves to it fully. You might ask, why must we learn alchemy if it's not magic? I'll tell you why. I am mad scientist, son of a bitch. So cool, son of a bitch. <laughs> I love that anime. Science gets good. I gotta play the visual novel sometimes. These are the doors. Alchemy will open for the cunning magicking girl. Having an arsenal of options in combat is always a good thing. With all of that being said, I want it to be known that most of you will fail this class. Most of you will not have the dedication, the perseverance, to master alchemy. However, I still expect you all to do your best. I will accept absolutely no less than that. This guy's intense. Ah, yes, you there! Can you answer the question? Um, yes, sir. The names of the three components used in every alchemy recipe are the base, the solvent, and the catalyst. Aha! Bingo! Well done, young one! Yui beams at the teacher's praise. I'm genuinely surprised she knew the answer to that question. Oh my goodness, this man has a lot to say. In future lessons, I will go into detail about finding alchemy components in the world around us. For now, I command you to open your notebooks and start writing the following. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'll stop. <laughs> Very nice music box, though. Oh. Wait, what? I command you, bro, calm down. Bro thinks he's a freaking <laughs> command seal user in the fate universe, bro. <laughs> I command you. Someone I can call my love. I'm gonna meet the girl of my dreams. Sadly, I want the man of my dreams, but we can't have that either. <laughs> Dating or speeding time with girls? Spending time speeding. We're speed dating. Nah, man, that teacher kind of sus, bro. 
Uh, let's go to the cafe. How do I work this? I like how the steam pop-ups still show up. Why? Okay, yes. Ah, uh, yes! The bedroom! <laughs> Let's go to... Wait, we can't even go anywhere else? Let's guess. Go to the hallway. Hello, Marceline. This is one of the other girls. She looks interesting. I was just showing where everyone is. I'm just trying to see. I don't think it takes my time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who is this? Who is this pretty man over here? Is he dateable? <laughs> you discover more places. I talked to Marceline. Marceline. She got the name from the girl from um, Adventure Time. Yo, what's up, Marceline? You want to chat with me? Um, okay. I'm not really sure what I can offer you in terms of conversation since you're a newbie. To be honest, I only volunteered to help the first year students because I have too much knowledge to keep all by myself. But you wouldn't know what that's like, would you? <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to sound harsh. You're okay. Oh, that was it. Never mind, I thought we were making a new friend. Alright, then. Like, legit, I thought that was one of the new girls. I want a book, bro. I want to talk. Oh my gosh, I have to read this. What is his name? A theron? What the hell? What in Greek philosophy? <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to read everything. Bro, can I just get a book? Oh, you have a wife. Proud of you, man. I don't have one of those. Kill. Let me borrow a book. Uh, Book of Perception. Do we actually have, like, battles in this game? That would be really cool. It's probably not. It's more of a, like, action sort of thing. Let's start with... Let's start with this. Sometime with Yui today. Oh, never mind. Yeah, why not? Oh, really? Oh, that's kind of cool. Doesn't have to be. It could be like a Mori battles or something. He attributes. Okay. Let's. Where can we go? Let's go check out. We can still go out? I think I'll read the book. Why isn't it? Uh. Oh, that's auto. Hold up. I don't think we can go anywhere else. Yeah. Okay. I chose the wrong book. What do you mean? Just because I took the, the last one? I have to take the first one? Yeah, I know. I, I know I did that. <laughs> I'm aware. Hold on. We were like... We're not very far apart. If we go... Right here. Alright. Don't worry, I big brained. I big brained it, don't worry about it. No, oh, oh, look. I just wanted to take it because uh, I said level 3 and I figured it would be more easier to learn stuff. There we go. There we go. 
This is literally Persona 5. Alright. This is Persona. This is Persona for lesbians. Or straight men. That need a girlfriend desperately. <laughs> is, is there any difference to be honest? Go straight to school! Be sure to finish it. We're on a- we're on- Available. Lee's Sona, Les Soda, Lesbian Soda. There's my lesbian Sona girlfriend. Check out my persona, bro. <laughs> they got ones like Silphy and freaking. I don't even want to talk about it. They got freaking. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today's the day I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this. It's practical magical day. Huh? What's that? Ugh! Are you serious? <laughs> Lil's kinda cute though. Yeah, true. Practical magic class is where we actually get to go out of the classroom and use magic. Oh, really? Yes, really? Jeez, didn't you pay any attention in Miss Otsuka's- Okay, she's not like Sayori. She's like not scared. With her reactions, I feel like it's more of Natsuki. Wait, we're crushed on the t we're crushing on the teacher now. <laughs> huh? Oh. No, 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 no. We're going to be studying practical magical outside magic outside. Oh, will you grow up? It's nice being outside. It's sunny and warm, and the springtime air smells so beautiful. But shut it! You're coming with us. Doesn't she kind of seem like a Natsuki? Oh, there's another girl. Oh, never mind, it's a teacher. <clears throat> Why did that break when it pop up? What happened? You see that? Hello? Try another redeem. <laughs> or try your redeem again. How do I get rid of the... The auto? Yeah. Oh, you can't? Yeah, I'll do it. You gotta wait. It'd be like that. I think it's like 10 seconds, Titus. I'll do it, okay. Okay, now it fixed. That was weird. Wait, it doesn't let you? Why is it only 10 seconds for me? What's your time limit? It's 10 seconds for me. That's weird. Weird. I guess. My day. I go get Weeba. Oh, is it on auto? I turned it off! What? Turn it off. I shall put you to the sword! I shall put you to the sword! I don't want it on auto! Oh my goodness! How do I turn it off? Inventory. I got five bucks on me. Yeah, you see that star? I don't- Oh, you can't see the star, but it's on auto. Uh, hide window. Oh. I don't want to do that. I really don't know how to- What did I just do? My bad. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I know, right? Not a dating sim. He asked me to try it out, so I am. Uh... Hi, Andre. I really don't know how to turn off the auto. Is it a scroll? No, there's a button. Let's see if there's options. There's murder, yeah. <laughs> That's why we're playing it, obviously.
it's choosable and I chose to be a girl. <laughs> so it's, yeah. Ah, forget that the auto's on, I guess. The next student called upon is Yuri. She looks even more scared than Hikari did. But she takes a step, a uh, brave step forward anyway. Oh, uh, I'm Yui. My magic is a bit unreliable. Yeah, I pressed space. It turned off. Oh, such a long line to read. <laughs> you seem to be a very special case, Lumi. Please, would you share with the class some information about your magical powers? Well, I've only been able to use my power once, and I don't think I had any control over it. But I was able to freeze an object in time. You froze an object in time? Right? <laughs> That's true, Andre. I hope you're doing well. How's your evening been? This game's been, uh, interesting. And how would you describe your personality? Lazy. <laughs> Lazy, my, my. Why well, suppose I have to put some thought into it? Well, uh, what was that actually? I'm trying to blow my nose. Whatever. So much to read. Actually, it's back on. I don't know how to get rid of the star. It's never been gone. Oh yes, my personality is being a living beanbag. Tomorrow's Friday. Can you believe the work, the week has already nearly ended? Nope, seems too good to be true. Ugh, I know you act like you're not impressed, but I can tell you're enjoying classes so far. Yeah, uh, I am to be honest. It's pretty exciting learning about new stuff. Ah, good. I'm really happy we're attending school together. And we even made a new friend this week. You mean Yui? Where is she anywhere? I don't know. She doesn't normally meet us here before going home, doesn't she? Yeah, I wonder if she's caught up in something. Well, don't sweat it. We'll see her tomorrow after all. She's dead. You want to walk home together? Maybe not today. I've got some things to do. Oh, okay. Maybe next time. Yeah, she is. She's got, like, Natsuki vibes. I thought she was, like, Sayori, though. What do I do? Go to the library and <gasps> a body has been discovered! Right? Yet. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Screw you, no. Stop being congested, darn it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to my room. Yep, I got nothing else to do. I'm gonna go read. Still some time left. What can I do? Check the calendar. I could be joking. I could be serious. Meat on the bone. Meat on the bone. I'm reading my book. Right? Isn't that literally Madoka Magica? I really loved that anime back when I first watched it so many years ago, but yeah, it's got the power of Yuri in it. Time to get some sleep. Quite the contrast, too, too. No! No, that's wrong! Nakito, could you just stop talking, please? <laughs> Hajime, dude! <laughs> What's up? Could you shut up, please? What should I do? Got some time left before school. <laughs> I'm the ultimate gamer. Chiaki the Nami. At your service. Meat on the bone. Meat on the bone. Hajibe's meat on the bone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> Again. What did everybody think of their first week? The 20 blazing, dude! <laughs> I'm such useless trash! You hear Nagito in the background, like. <laughs> I do hope you're all learning a lot. <laughs> Time is you didn't hear shit! <laughs> it was. <laughs> do you remember the scene between 
Hajime Chiaki, and she talked about his boobs. Because <laughs> I think they were like 92 centimeters. <laughs> and he, he got he got turned on in that scene. <laughs> I'm just, I know, right? Yeah, that was same, same. Anyway, <clears throat> aren't you going to feed me? Hajime? You remember the scene with freaking Nagito being tied up in the closet? Yeah, bro, that was weird. <laughs> He's like, feed me, Hajime. <laughs> I was like, um, no. <laughs> I was over. Mm -mm, I'm gonna play now. I'm sorry. Dang it, Rapa two on mine. I was overwhelmed by all the knowledge my students wanted. To, oh, teachers wanted to share. I have a good feeling that you're all going to make magical, wonderful magical girls, and I'll make it my sworn duty to help each and every one of you. Blah 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 blah. I met her earlier. Blah 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 blah. Good to meet you. She kindly, um, actually volunteered. You can find me in the first floor hallways whenever you need assistance. Thank you, Marceline. For the rest of today's class, I'd like to go over what you learned during the week about my two gigantic watermelons. <laughs> oh, Yui. You waited for us today. When you enter a magical girl anime and you expect to leave with like negative 35 excessively edgy scenes on your mind, wholesomeness that fills your heart, or a broken mind and shattered heart empty yet filled with the desire that things shouldn't have gone the way they did. Everybody shake! Ah! Ah! How do I shake my bottom? <laughs> what are we shaking from, Titus? Yo! I'm sorry I left yesterday without saying goodbye. I had something urgent I needed to attend to. My horror movies. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is wonderful. There's no need to worry. I had a great meet thanks to both of you. The point is magical girl media is weird. It is. <laughs> I'm so happy that I made some... I can't see that emo, Titus. It's broken. You lost your subscription. <laughs> Me too. It's been such a fun week. A body has been discovered. Should we all walk home together? I, I I live on the power of hope. Did somebody say hope? Did somebody say hope? Did somebody say hope? I actually live here. I know how to do it. <laughs> well, really? I had no idea. Oh, sorry. I never told you sooner. Actually, the reason I left yesterday was to finish anything, everything- oh! <laughs> That's freaking the uh, Magito in a nutshell, bro. With the power of hope, we'll restore everyone's dreams. Hope and dreams! I had some new furniture delivered, so it finally feels like home. Did somebody say hope? Hopium? Copium? Well, that's pretty cool. It must be nice to have your own place. It's not bad, I mean. There are other students around, but my room is private. Private, huh? Do you not have your own place, Hikari? Hikari! No, I still live with my mother. <laughs> I can't wait to get my own place, though! Ah, I see. And what about you, Lumi? Undertale reference, probably. <laughs> Megalodomania starts playing. I'm gonna stop cringing at myself. Lucky you. <laughs> Hikari seems to be moping. I think she's stinky. <laughs> Hikari! You're always well- Did I say Hikari or Hikari? Now my brain's melted. Hikari. Yeah. Ah, yes! Megalodomania! 10 out of 10 pronunciation. Shut up, Andre! Megalodomania. <laughs> Megado. I'm thinking of the skill from Persona 5, you know? Megalodonian. Right? <laughs> of course, it would be my pleasure. Megalovania. Yeah, whatever. Emphasis on the car, the huh? The he? What? Titus, what? <laughs> Bye, Yui. See you later. Catch you later. <laughs> Smell you later. What are you, freaking Gary from Pokemon, dude? Do you want to walk home together? Mm, there's some things I want to do, though. Rain check? Yeah, okay, I'll see you later. Me when the 
my face when the man Hikari 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 I know it's just it's one of those names okay Hikari Kari Kari Kairi 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 Travel somewhere else. My bedroom. Travel somewhere else. My bedroom. Go to somewhere else. My bedroom. Fucking evaporates. <laughs> My fucking pancakes. <laughs> My fucking pancakes. <laughs> <It> evaporates. <laughs> I currently have book of perception one. Reading of oh, I thought I heard something, something about delicious pancakes. There's only one chapter left to read. Bro, when I meet Robbie one day, he's gonna be so tired of me. <laughs> I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna recite that line in his in his like presence. <laughs> I dive into the book and devote all of my attention to reading. Damn girl. She a <laughs> she a buckworm. <laughs> she a buckworm. Oh my god, what happened? My academics went up by one and my charm by 25% negative. <laughs> my perception attribute has increased significantly. <laughs> I can now bang all the girls in school. <laughs> Makoto Yuki Moonwalk activated. Time to get some sleep. 421. I've been so not waiting for this. Beep boop. Ugh, my phone. What time is it? Oh, it's just a text message. It's from freaking Hikari. Hikari! <laughs> oh my god! Wake up! You're missing school! <laughs> JK, it's the weekend. I got you good! Anyway, wanna go to the cafe? You should come with us. <laughs> How much of a dunk of magic is your repan service? <laughs> Negative 3,000. I don't really remember. It's been like 10 years since I've seen an anime. Go on a side note. Did a girl again get a new movie? I gotta watch it. I'm catching up on Free Win, so. After that in Castlevania, I might watch it. I don't know if they don't have it in theaters. Hikari and her early morning text messages. What am I going to do with this girl? It might be fun to hang out with Yui and Hikari at a cafe. But I still have to mess with Hikari at least a little bit. Yo, Free Red, let's go! 10 out of 10 anime. Yes, one of my favorites. I quickly reply back. No. As usual, immediately after a message gets sent, I get a response back. Yo, Mimi! You don't have a choice! Come meet us at Cafe Shiba! I send her back a serious reply and let her know I'll be there. <laughs> my gosh. Coffee? Green tea? Coffee! Green tea! Oh my gosh, fairly NBA. Jeez, you took your time, didn't you? I like the way Yui dresses more than Hikari. Just guessing, just saying. Yikes. Sorry, not sorry. You have yet to watch it? Just do what I do, where you stream it from your HDMI cord to the TV from a <laughs> website. Because it's not on any program without spending $24.99. Right? Yeah, it's okay, Andre. I could just stream it to a Discord call if you really wanted to see it. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Yui. Good morning, Hikari. Huh. Have you ever been oh, have you ever been here before, Lumi? No, never. Uh, how about you? Ah, uh, yes, I come here all the time. I really like the coffee here. Plus, they always remember my order. So the what now? A car passing by censored you? <laughs> HDMI cord from PC to TV. Hoggers. Watch anime on TV. I said I could, if you really needed it, I could stream it to you on Discord. <laughs> it's a pretty cozy place. It would be a cool idea to bring our books here and study. <laughs> Nerd. Ugh. Please, it's the weekend. Can we talk about studying some other time? <laughs> yes, let's just enjoy the weekend. Have you two ordered yet? No, not yet. I can't decide. Girl, me too. I'm indecisive. I want to get a croissant, but I don't know if it will fill me up. Would I be better getting an apple danish, or will that not be enough either? Why don't you get one of each? One of each? I'm not made of money. Sheesh. I recommend the strawberry preferably. Yo, sold. Sold. Gimme, 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 
Gimme, gimme, gimme, gimme, gimme, gimme, gimme, gimme, gimme, gimme, gimme, please. Strawberry Pipeberry! Damn, Andre, you poor thing. Uh oh, it's gonna be a mommy monkey woman, isn't it? Oh, it didn't show her. Okay. Huh? What did I do? You ordered all the things I can't decide between. You're a monster. Whoa, relax. I got a bit of everything so we can all share. Uh, oh, that's really nice of you, Lumi. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Only on the PC. <laughs> PC dies. <laughs> I think your PC might need to get, uh, you know, you might need to get a new PC. I can't believe you do such a nice, thoughtful thing. What's the catch? No catch, I promise. Just enjoy the food. Oh, well then, thank you! <laughs> Gosh darn it. See how I haven't lagged at all? Like, this, this model hasn't lagged at all? It was probably just the encoder being new. And it just not being really, uh... Fixed. I guess. Wow, relax. I'm blowing my nose. <sighs> We've been going for two hours. Wow. We'll go a little more, more and see why not. So I can go watch more Freeman or Castlevania. I also bought the Berserk game and I do plan to stream that. So it's on the list of coming eventually. So plenty of games to play. Oh, it can't? That's so weird. I'm sorry, Andre. That sounds so tedious. I'd get irritated like after a couple tries. <laughs> Whoa, horror films? I get goosebumps just by saying those words. You must be really brave, Yui. I might even update the YouTube and stuff. I don't know if I want to do that instead. I was going to do it tomorrow, but I am going out. I might do that. Titus, are you happy that I did two hours of this? I'll definitely stream it another time again. Let's get to, like, the next morning and we'll probably call it there because I could go like I have so much I have like 12 videos to catch up on it's ridiculous I have got to go uh, maybe I'll do it today I don't know should I put stuff out today I'll probably upload all the videos and try to get a couple clips yeah mm -hmm. this has been fun though it's not that I don't want to stream but you know on the days that I work I don't really do the craziest longest streams tomorrow I'm home though I only have an appointment Thursday in the morning. I'm also home, so we'll be streaming because I can't do it Friday for sure. Friday I'm working a double, I promise to help, so. Since Sunday was canceled. Yeah, too strong. Because I'm talking to people all day, so sometimes I don't feel like streaming because then I get home and then I have to talk more. But I mostly don't mind if I have the energy for it. Alrighty. Okay, let me know, Titus. Because <laughs> I'm playing this. I'm playing Danganronpa, I'm playing Somnium Files, and I'm playing Near Reincarnation. I might- I'm gonna have to finish Near Reincarnation soon because it- it, uh, it ends service in a month. So we'll probably be finishing that before anything else. But I think it's the next- I think it's in like four days the update comes out, so we've got some time. I don't think we read the same kind of stuff. That's too bad. What kind of manga do you read? No, I can't tell you. You think I'm a little kid. Oh, come on. You know my weird hobby. I won't judge you. Well, okay. My favorite manga series is Cutie Star. Cutie Star? Oh, I know Cutie Star. I used to watch the animated series on TV every morning before preschool. <laughs> She's childish. Dang, her heart broke. Uh, I see why you didn't want to tell me that. It's okay. I know it's a children's series. I guess I never really got... Is it one of the main girls that dies right away? Like, that's crazy. Because we've only met two of them. It can't be right now. You probably can only save them by romance, them, right? It's one of those Shinjiro moments. At least they're able to bond. Oh, no. I had the idea that this place was expensive. I hardly have any money on me. Well, I had no idea. Oh goodness, what's the bill? <laughs> I won't be able to eat for the rest of the week. <laughs> oh, I won't? Okay. Uh-oh. She, 
She said she had to go, but she thanks you for your generous contribution to her share of the bill. Betrayed. Yui, can we split the bill 50-50? <laughs> I would love to, but I only have a handful of change. I can cover my coffee at least. Yeah, thanks. Hi, Ryo. I would say Miku. I don't know. It sounds like Miku. Damn, I'll sell a kid near too. <laughs> uh oh. Yo, what's up? You chillin' today? It's Shin? Who's this man? Is he cute? How's your new school? Are there a lot of hotties? Oh, he's a simp. Why? How dare you share a name with Shin from 86 and you're a piece of poop. What's up, guys? Hey. Sweet. Yo, we gotta catch up. I have the day off work tomorrow, Keen. Dope. Can't wait. I'll come to your place in the morning. Peace. <laughs> he's gonna look like a fucking nerd, isn't he? He's just... He's an absolute nerd. <laughs> Nerd alert. Yo, I am an 86 fan. One of my favorite series. I bought some of the light novel. I have to catch up. It's just sitting on my ebook on my iPad for like a year. Still mad that they're not getting a second season anytime soon or ever. Ding dong, ding dong, ding 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 dong. Wait, you're telling me in a lesbian game there is a man I can date? Is he cute or what? Yo, open up the damn door. I'm cold out here. Is he cute? <laughs> Yo, what's up, bro? He's a blondie? It's Ryuji? What is this? Oh, man. It's the blonde boy. I mean, I, I I had a thing for blonde boys when I was little. My first crush in third to fifth grade was blonde. His name was Boris. He was such a cutie. He told me one day after us of all playing, like, we'd play in, like, the upper corner of... Uh, of like the the playground but it would be it would be like on the hill near the trash can and creepy houses and guess what and um one day he told me i'm sorry i don't like pokemon anymore that was the cruelest rejection i ever had as a kid <laughs> and we kind of just drifted off from there because the summer happened and then i couldn't get all my friends phone numbers and i moved away <laughs> hey yo yo free rent i gotta catch up on I'm, i've been catching up on it i'm like on 15 so i'm getting there for real Hey, what's up? It's for you, G bro. <laughs> when when I literally say I, I don't know if I'd want to date Ryuji, the game gives me Ryuji. So either I'd be a, a lesbian or i date Ryuji. Uh, no, I ain't cold. I just wanted to come in, for real? I shake my head and Shin gives his trademark stupid grin. I missed you. Haven't seen you in ages. I missed you too, man. How you been? Why are we talking like boys? <laughs> We're talking like a bunch of boys. I'm a tomboy. I'm in so good. Raising dough every day. I might as well just go date Keaton at this point. He's popping up every day. <laughs> Yo, dude, I found you in this video game again. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna hate me. I'm gonna send him a picture. Yo, it's you. Hold up. <laughs> I'm gonna say, why are you in my video game? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna be so annoyed with me. When in doubt, how about it is? Hey, I found you in a dating sim. <laughs> Aside from Persona. I have his picture as Ryuji because he literally looks like him and acts like him. <laughs> Let's see what he says. Oh, my app's reloading. You can date them all? Oh man. It's not that Shin's not cute. He looks like a cutie. I mean, just literally a Ryuji copy. <laughs> it's Ryuji if he wasn't so, I don't know, dumb. <laughs> it's Ryuji if he wasn't a little silly guy, right? For real? Oh, you've been making bread? Nah, dude. Making money. <laughs> I got a few jobs back. Someone actually hired you? Did they meet you first? <laughs> Shut up. I'm working at a convenience store. The job's not- Why should I make him sound like that? The job's not great. But the money not, is not great either. So it's not great? Nah, it sucks. <laughs> but any money is better than no money, you know. 
the size. It's all just a stepping stone. Lumi gonna assemble her harem like they were the Avengers. I never do that in a game. <laughs> but it would be funny since this is a lesbian game. Can you get all of them in this game? <clears throat> oh yeah? What kind of things? Well, when I get enough cash, I'll start my own company. Hmm, that's right. You always wanted to design your own clothes, right? Hell yeah! Shirts by Shin. Or maybe Shin shirts. Or maybe Shin shits. <laughs> no. Oh. I don't- I don't know, man. The one romance? Man, we might have to date him. I don't want to go the gay route. <laughs> I ain't- I ain't- I ain't- I ain't living that life, dude. You'll get there, buddy. But then again, it is a game. But congrats, I'm glad you're chasing your dreams. Thanks, dude. I knew you'd understand. So, like, tell me, what's it like going to an academy for girls? <laughs> Doesn't they sound- it sounds like the guy from Class 09. Are you the biggest nerd there? <laughs> all in all, it's pretty great. I even made a friend. Good job, uh. Is Ikari studying with you? <laughs> Dude got Riz, he straightened the gay. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look so cross-eyed right now, bro? <laughs> Ryuji's like clone over here. <laughs> he looks so cross-eyed. Uh, I can't wait to do a key. This is gonna be funny. <laughs> yeah, she's in all my classes. They really tried. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Random question. I've seen the girls from your school walking home in the afternoon. How come everyone wears uniforms? Like, I get the whole uniform thing during school, but this is territory education. Isn't this magical girl academy more like a university? Well, Ikari explained that to this to me once. Did I say it wrong again? Ikari, I'm gonna stab myself. That's it. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'm doing it right now. Kidding. Okay. <clears throat> yep, I saw that response coming. So can you do any magic tricks yet? Nah. Sheesh, I want results and soon. We'll see each other. We'll see. At the moment, I'm just happy to cruise along and learn what I can. Yeah, I feel that, Andre. You got it made, dude. Your folks pay your rent and you get to go to school with hotties every day. You got no idea what the real work for us as working class citizens. What's your point? I think you need a little taste of the real world. You should get a part-time job and see what it's like to work for your money. Rentaro, yes, you've talked about him so many times. <laughs> He's cute, but that's about it. Is that so then? What happens when you meet a cool chick and you want to take her out on a date? Are you going to call your parents and ask for money? You need to get your own finances in order so you can treat girls and have a good time. I hate to admit it, but you may be right. Exactly, Shin's always right. For real? I got you covered. The convenience store is hiring. They love students because they pay them next to nothing. <laughs> oh, damn! Hmm. Oh, damn. Tell you what, I'll put in a good word for you with the boss, man. I'll see if I can get you some flexible hours. If I can do that, would you at least give it a shot? Yeah, okay, I'll give it a shot. Bing, that's awesome. Shin and Lumi working together just like the old days. <laughs> I don't remember those old days, but whatever. Nah, you know what I mean anyway. Tell me about the new friend you made. Is she cute? Oh my god. He's such a freaking nerd. I'm going ready to bed with my phone goes. Yo, I talked to the boss. You got the job. You'll be on cast register with me. Is that sweet or what, bro? Welcome home, Millie. Yeah, go steal it, honestly. I know, I know. No, you can talk about it, Andre. It doesn't bother me. I've seen some of it. Corey, my friend Corey is also mod here, and he also streams. He spams me so well, not spams, but he texts me every couple of days about that that manga. He shows me so much of it. I'm sitting here like, oh, cool, cute girls, new girls, and he shows me some every now and then, so I do get some glimpses. I can work part time. Working part time. Bro, why am I Jonker Persona 5, but actual female Joker, dude? This Jonker, that's my name. Because I'm such a joke. When your best friend's somebody like it even watered down Ryuji, you know it's going well. 
for your information, Boris was a very smart boy. <laughs> there was a guy when I worked at university and still lived where I lived who would literally look like a replica of my of him. So imagine how I felt. I was like super happy every time that kid like just came to pay for something. Not like weirdly or anything, but like I thought that I like, you know, it was like it was close like a twin. It was kind of scary. I was like, oh. Uh, go straight to school, check the calendar. Check the schedule. Oh yeah, we were gonna stop. Let's do a couple more minutes here. We'll start the day. Let me see if I can fix something while we're here. I go here. Grab it. No. Window capture on the left. I was curious if I could hide that bar as well without getting the. Okay. Where'd the music go? Oh. Uh oh. A body has been discovered. I can't believe she's here. She's so beautiful. Oh, it's still missing. It's so little. Hold on. Uh, it's gonna be like the sort of like there's a scarlet sort of Mitsuru girl that pops in. You be living the life. Let's go, Millie. Proud of you. Yeah, it does look like that hallway, doesn't it? <laughs> a tall brunette. Okay. Yep, it's gonna be one of those characters. It's the student council girl! Oh my god! Wow! I stumbled forward! Into the vacant area the students are surrounding, the third year girl turns to look at me. Can I help you? Makoto? M m m m m m m m Makoto? Yeah. That's true, Andre. You pushed through this crowd just to see me, didn't you? Have we met before or something? No, I don't think so. Telenovela. <laughs> Looking at introduction. You don't seem like the rest of my admirers. Something's different about you. Well, if you want a signed yearbook, you'll have to wait until graduation just like everybody else. Why would I want your signature? <gasps> you don't know who I am? <laughs> I could ask you the same question. I'm breaking my vocal cords. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> to my surprise, the girl giggles. Her stoic expression is broken down to a beautiful laugh even for a moment. Mm. My name is Miyu. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Lumi. Tell me, Lumi. What made your approach be like this? I just hydrated. Thank you, Titus. <laughs> it's my freaking nose. It's been congested and it won't go away till the end of the stream. Something bad. I assure you there's nothing to be worried about. My fans get overzealous from time to time and gatherings like these aren't aren't heard of. Blah 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 blah. Don't mind them. I think they're just jealous you're the only one with the courage to speak to me. Is that so? She's extraordinarily beautiful. Not to mention calm and composed. Why are you so famous anyway? I wouldn't say I'm famous, just incredibly admired. There's that feeling of condensation again. Sunshine. To answer you truthfully, I'm currently the number one student here at the Academy. My grades are the highest in history in every single aspect. In addition, my blah 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 blah. And last but not least, I also conduct the Academy's orchestra. Oh, she's done. That's, uh, quite a lot you got on your plate. It's nothing. Oh, did I mention I'm also on record as one of the youngest magical girls to ever awaken her powers? Well, you've mentioned it now. Dude. She's so full of herself. So she's not one of those students. She's not like me, or Makoto. She's, like, stuck up, sort of. I am, I am, like, you know, good at everything. 
<laughs> Not a D&D &D character sheet. Oh my gosh, true. I'm good until then. Blah, 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 bye. So either way we get with the hotties or we get with our boy Ryuji. What do you guys think? Flip a coin. Vote on the poll! Ryuji or... <laughs> we can we make a poll? I know what you guys vote for, it's okay. I forgot how to do the poll thing. Whichever. I guess we'll have to see how the romance routes will look like they'll go. They sound cute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she doesn't seem very, uh... She seems very stuck up. My nose is more pl plugged now, so... So I'm not really reading. It isn't hard- oh, it isn't long before a scrap of paper gets passed to me. On it is Hikari's scrambled handwriting. Hikari! I- I know what I'm saying, but when I read it, I kind of just read the other one. She ate the ball. Really? What, Andre? That's weird. <laughs> My nose is also making me annoyed. Blah 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 Hello again. Hello Miyu. Sorry we didn't get her much of a chance to talk this morning. I wanted to catch you before you left for the day. You wanted to catch me? Yes, I wanted to apologize. For what? The truth comes out. Is that the girl from Nagarapa? Mia Aruma? <laughs> the weird mechanic in the third game that I never liked. <laughs> I'm stretching. Hmm. Huh, okay. Before I can even say anything to her, Wait, what the Harry comes bounding up to me. What the? Dirt, Monday. What is that? I pressed something and it read it. I don't even know how that Harry, happened. Lumi, there you are. Oh, I've been so looking everywhere for you. Evening, oh my god, I can dirt, use this? Why Monday. am I reading it? Lumi, really? <laughs> I didn't know that I existed. always wait by the gate. You should have looked here first. That, makes, that saves me so much of the reading, but yeah, I won't use it all the time. Maybe when I'm tired. Disabled. I never knew that was a thing. Kind of like a narrator. Yeah, they have weird dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, so who's your new friend? I mean, my voice is nice to listen to. Are you sure about that? I thought I was super cringe, dude. <laughs> my voice acting skills suck. Hello, I'm Miyu. Himura, are you a friend of the Lumis? Hikari's jaw drops. Even if she didn't recognize Miyu at a glance, she seems to have recognized her name immediately. Is it really? Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Even though I'm congested. You guys are so sweet. I have a pleasant voice. Aw, Titus! Stop it! <laughs> you're... You're the Miyu. Oh my gosh. Stop it, Goldie! Stop it, guys! Shut up! <laughs> Stop it. Move. Conversation change. But thank you. Oh. Miu, this is my good friend Hikari. It's a pleasure, Hikari. Hikari! 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 Ah! She knows my name! Hello, everybody. Oh, we're the big group. Who is the new face? Another friend of Lumi's? Could it be that you're as popular as me? Oh my gosh. Uh, I doubt that. Miu, this is Yui. Yui, this is Miu. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yui! Don't you know who this is? It's Miu Himura. She's the most magical girl at the school academy. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I thought so. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, guys. You're so sweet. <laughs> Yui bows slightly to Miu. She just... I used to never... There was a point in time where I didn't like my voice, but I guess I've liked it for the past few years, because I used to be... I don't remember what it used to be like. <laughs> she doesn't seem star-trucked in the slightest, unlike... 
Hikari, who is drooling like a child. Have fun giving the girls expectations and going with the guy. <laughs> Bye, Andre. I'm ending here soon. But yeah, this is one of the games we'll probably be playing along with everything else, so. Sure. Uh, sorry about my weird friends. Don't worry about it. I have my own weird friend that should probably go and find. Farewell, everyone. Mia takes her leave and Hikari confronts me. The day's look on her face has been replaced by one of sheer fury. Why didn't you tell me that you were dating Miyu Himura? Huh? Dating? What planet are you on? Don't try and hide it from me now, Lumi. There were fireworks flying between the two of you. <laughs> that emote doesn't work, Titus. Everyone needs a weird friend, true Ryo. <laughs> fireworks? You're dreaming, girl. I only met Miyu this morning. Ugh, fine. But I just want you to know that I don't care if you date her. She's perfect in every way, so do what you want. With that, Hikari storms off away in a huff. Um, I'm not dating Miyu. Oh, I know that. I know when you're telling the truth. Good. I wish Hikari would believe me. Don't fret about Hikari. She always comes around, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Thanks, Yui. My pleasure. Well, I'm gonna head home. Have a good night, Lumi. Thanks. See you tomorrow. And with that, we have reached the evening. Never mind. We'll probably go until two, but two hours and thirty minutes, so we'll go a little more here. We can go to the convenience store. Let's go work with me, yo Jay. Yo, oh, what's up, Shin? Yo, yo, yo! Can't believe my best button dude. Why does he talk like Keaton? <laughs> the alternate universe, me and Keaton, just chilling, bro. We just chilling, bro. I live alternate universe where I live in freaking uh, Wisconsin, bro. That's crazy, bro. Are you working today? Not cool. <laughs> oh my god. Had this big wig dude in a suit come in earlier, trying to get me to sign up for his music streaming site. I was like, yo, no, you know. I'm already subscribed to like five different music streaming sites. I don't need another subscription. Yes, he lives there. <laughs> don't kill him, okay? He's a good bestie. We've been besties for like seven, eight years. We finally met at the con. You second, your second home? Aw. Yo, can I work and then shop? Or shop and then work? They probably should let me. Yo, I don't have a lot of money. I'm gonna buy some sweet potatoes. Oh, we haven't saved in like forever. Let's do that. Alternating save. Let's work! If I spend time working here, I can earn some money. Yeah, I need money. I grab an apron and put it on, then head behind the checkout to start work. I wonder how much they'll pay us. Time goes by slowly. Hello, I'm looking at this new pack of sushi that you have. Do you have any without sushi? I'm looking at this pack of sushi that you have. Do you have any without sushi? What the- Hello? You would like a pack of sushi without any sushi in it? Yes, please. Do you have that- we got a vegan over here. Let me check out back. Thank you. I go out into the storeroom. After pretending to check for the customer's request, I return to the counter. Sorry, refresh out. Ah, I see. Thank you anyway. Oh. Oh, that's money! That's money! What do you mean that wasn't much? I earned seven dollars. Seven dollars is a big deal, okay? <laughs> customer service is, I guess, so true. Um, oh, I'm in the wrong area. We could do the night at least, I don't mind. We'll stop in the morning, though. Um, let's see. Let's see where everybody is. She's in the classroom? Let's go work again. <laughs> money is money. Okay, bye, Goldie. Thank you for the head pass before I end stream. I hope to see you later, guys. I'll try to join your stream, uh, Goldie. I still got a few minutes, of course, but you know what I mean. What okay, else can I buy? Keaton says... <laughs> he said, the hello, Dan. <laughs> he said, Dan ain't me too beta. <laughs> um, what are you talking about? It's you, bro. <laughs> Damn, he called the fake Ryuji the beta. <laughs> 
Bye, Goldie. Uh, nah, he just... Oh, poor Keaton. Anyway. Wine? Holy moly! Sorry. Fermented using grapes hand-picked in a dark alley? Um. Okay. Yo, what's up, Shin? Oh, man. Some customer's cat has gone missing in the store. I can't find it, but I can hear it hissing at people when they open the fridges. It's freaking me out, dude! It's like some devil cat from home. I want to go home. <laughs> from hell, I want to go home. <laughs> wow! You can't work two shifts in a day? Ugh, I guess we'll go hang out with our girl. Ridiculous. How dare you. How dare you not pay me overtime? Wait, it says she's in the classroom in the evening though, bro. Oh, I guess it's night. That doesn't count. Okay, we're going to bed. <laughs> what? Um, what? A uh, what? What did you say to me? Whatever. I can't believe I can't work overtime. Can, can you understand this? These people, man? How dare they? Oh, it's the morning. Okay, guys. This was very interesting. This was uh, an experience, I will say. Let's save again. We're gonna save here. We're gonna quit. And you're gonna get the ending screen. And I'm gonna end the game. And I'm gonna say that was very much of an experience, Titus. I do plan to probably play this once we like... <laughs> well, we'll play different games every week, okay? I do want to finish Somnium Files, but it's gonna take a while, so... We'll continue playing um, Reincarnation since it's ending service of the month. Um, we'll play a little bit more of this, clearly, because it's been fun. Um, I've got a bunch of other games to start once we finish one after another. Uh, I don't know how streaming schedules are going to go, depending on where I work. Uh, Sunday I am free, though, so we're doing a group night gaming for sure. Haven't figured out what yet. Uh, I will try to stream tomorrow. I do want to. Same for Thursday, because I know I won't be able to on Friday. Saturday, I'm not sure yet. Thank you for the hug, Titus, by the way. Uh, let me give you one back. <laughs> Can't leave you hanging. Da -da -da. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll figure it out as things go. I've got the Zero Escape series, Don't Starve Together. I've got some escape room games. I've got a bunch on uh, Switch to play. I've even got to finish, you know, Trails from Zero. I've got the Bang and Z the I meant to say Danganronpa, but I also have the Berserk game I got. I really enjoyed stream. I'm glad. We'll do this again sometime. Okay, let's see how the days go. I don't know if I'll do Reincarnation tomorrow or Somnium Files, but we'll figure it out. Good night, guys. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Sorry for my congestion. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a good night, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow.